Uh, this is a joint work uh, with my former, uh, former colleague, uh, Dr. Hong Xiaoyang, and uh, Professor Jing Ruihe from Arizona State uh, University. She is sitting there. Um, uh, first of all, I will uh, talk about what problem we are solving and the motivation for this research. And then I will talk about uh, uh, our proposed model algorithm and uh, some experimental result. Finally, I will conclude this work. Um, so the revenue management in the air cargo business is a fast growing area. Um, usually it consists of two stages. The first is bidding stage. The second is decision stage. Uh, in the bidding stage, the vendor, for example, United Airlines, um, provides a bidding price based on a set of the features of the cargo, such as uh, lead time, volume, weight, uh, and so on, uh, associated with a pair of origination and destination. Um, at the decision stage, the customer, for example, Verma, will make a decision whether to accept this price or not. Uh, the goal for revenue management is to maximize the revenue over time. Um, the key for maximizing revenue is to predict a bidding price that can balance the profit from individual transactions as well as the winning probability of transactions over time. So um, air cargo companies start to build uh, like a prediction models to predict the bidding price and uh, uh, the winning probability. However, this is not an easy problem. Uh, at this uh, left figure shows um, the transactions um, of the um, air cargo booking associated with like uh, 400 originations and uh, 200 destinations. We can see that uh, uh, for a lot of uh, origination destination pairs, the transaction volume is very, very small. So uh, prediction models constructed uh, for such kinds of uh, of the pairs, uh, it's subject to large variation. Uh, secondly, um, the task to build uh, uh, prediction models for bidding price and the decision separately, uh, which is difficult to share the information between these two stages. And thirdly, uh, it is usually the cases that uh, the matrix representing uh, of the OD pairs has a block structure. Uh, in other words, um, if we co-cluster the OD pairs such that the prediction models are similar within the uh, same co-cluster and, uh, uh, and show significantly different uh, among different uh, co-clusters. Um, so how can we simultaneously construct the still predictive models uh, for each OD pair? We will construct, uh, uh, or we will uncover the co-clusters of OD pairs as the biggest challenge. Uh, so the best uh, knowledge, uh, so to the best uh, of our knowledge, we are the first to tackle this problem from a holistic perspective. Um, here we proposed uh, uh, probabilities uh, framework that uh, uh, simultaneously construct the dual prediction models and uncover the co-cluster of OD pairs. Um, in other words, we encapsulate multiple correlated models in a single probabilistic framework. The benefits is the sharing of information. Uh, for example, uh, the co-clustering of OD pairs provides regularization for the dual prediction. And the uh, um, accurate prediction of the dual prediction model in turn can improve the co-cluster performance. Um, uh, now let's look at some details. Um, here this X, I, J, K represents the features associated with uh, orig the S origination, J uh, destination, and the key's transaction. Um, this Y1 and the Y2 represents the 
uh, two responses. One is the price, and the other is outcome of the transactions. Uh, uh, this Y2 depends on both the feature and the Y1. Um, beta 1 and the beta 2 uh, are the coefficients for these two models. And uh, here, this capital B is the matrix of the coefficients. Uh, U and the V are the row and the uh, column clusters. Phi R, uh, denotes the mapping from its origination to one of the R column clusters. Uh, here we have a few assumptions. First, uh, we assume this coefficient matrix has a block structure. And this block structure is shared across the dual prediction. In other words, um, this uh, dual prediction model shared the membership of the co-cluster. And based on above assumptions, we assume this block structure can be approximated by an auxiliary distribution. Uh, as follows. So this P is the true probability over OD pairs. Q is the approximated probability. This U is the normalization parameters that uh, uh, ensures this, P, uh, this Q is a valid probability. Um, here, uh, this one is the joint probability of uh, the Rth row cluster and the Cs column cluster. And uh, this one is uh, uh, the, pro the conditional probability of having the S origination in the, the S origination in the S uh, raw cluster. And this one is the conditional probability of having beta given the S origination. Um, so in our previous work, we have proved that uh, certain marginal uh, joint and conditional probabilities derived from P are preserved in Q. Um, this property will be used later. Um, so further out to, uh, to get these two probabilities, we assume it uh, follows the Gaussian distribution in this form and uh, the expectation of the, um, and this expectation is, uh, it's straightforward to show that the MLE estimate is the uh, row wise average. Similar, we can, uh, assume this probability for the uh, uh, column-wise or the destination-wise. And uh, this one uh, as a Gaussian distribution in this form and um, this uh, row cluster centroid or expectation and uh, its approximation can be derived by repeatedly uh, use this auxiliary distribution and the probabilities derived from there. Um, Okay, so given the uh, um, assumptions and the, and the probabilities we have discussed so far, so we have these objective functions um, um, by minimizing this objective function with respect to the coefficients and the, the mapping of row and the column cluster, phi, I and, uh, uh, phi R and phi C. Uh, we have. So there's several parts. The first part, uh, this one is to predict the bidding price, we use a linear regression. The second part is uh, to predict the outcome of the bidding, and uh, we use a logistic regression. So this whole part is the um, co-clustering of the coefficient matrix. It provides a regularization for this dual prediction models. And this part um, are for the row clustering, and this part are for the column clustering. And uh, uh, this way of the formulation of the co-cluster is similar like a key means. And uh, here is the uh, row-wise uh, row or column-wise average. And this part is the uh, row cluster and the column cluster-wise the uh, expectation of Sanchoi. And uh, um, I mean, to calculate them um, can be based on the uh, assumptions and the probabilities we have discussed just now. Yeah, and uh, to solve these objective functions, we, uh, we proposed an iterative algorithm named COCO based on block coordinate descent. So first, uh, we initialize the row-wise and the column-wise the average to be zero vectors, and then we initialize the uh, row cluster and, um, and the column cluster man uh, membership. 
by random assign its origination destination to one of the raw column clusters. Then we initialize this conditional probability uh, using uniform distribution among the uh, originations or destination within the same raw column cluster. Then for the outer lo loop, we first solve the uh, beta IG where regular, uh, regularize the regression, uh, regularize the risk minimization. Then we update uh, the uh, row wise and the column and destination, row wise, uh, uh, origination wise, and the destination wise. Uh, it also can be called row wise and the column wise average. Then for the inner loop, we compute the expectation of uh, row cluster and the column clusters. And then we update uh, this uh, uh, row cluster and the, and the column clusters membership uh, like this. Uh, we're assigning each origination to its closest uh, row cluster and its destination to its closest column cluster. And then uh, given the new uh, row and the column cluster, we update um, the, this conditional probability. Uh, um, I mean, it's central or its expectation. And uh, this algorithm, uh, um, the time flexibility of this algorithm s scales linearly with respect to the number of OD pairs and the, and the total transactions. Now let's look at some experimental results. Uh, first, we we'll evaluate the uh, method uh, uh, using synthetic data. So this plot is the uh, winning probability after co-clustering. The, the black lines denotes the boundary of the co-cluster. We can see that uh, Coco recovers all the co uh, all the co clusters, and we also apply this method to the worldwide cargo company challenge. Here, altogether, we have 400 uh, OD pairs, and then we set uh, the number of row and column cluster as three based on domain knowledge, and we compare with a method called HGLM. Uh, it's basically build a prediction model and uh, and uncover co clusters separately. And we evaluate this based on several criteria like this. So uh, again, this is the uh, winning probability after co-clustering. And we see that it shows clear um, block structures. And also after we look at the in, uh, more, more detail of these uh, row clusters, and uh, we can see that uh, the airports like uh, uh, in different row cluster, um, they have I mean, the origination of the, they have distinguished uh, um, geographical, I mean, they, they have clear difference in the, in the geo locations. Uh, and also the transactions in the different row cluster, they show clear difference in the, bidding, uh, in the bidding price. And the difference in the bidding price can be further uh, interpreted by the difference uh, in three important features. They are like a lead time cargo volume and the customer size. For example, this one, uh, that's the uh, customer size of, um, of all the transactions from this airport, or this origination in the third row cluster. It's quite big uh, compared to this one. Um, and also like uh, uh, by compared to HGLM, this uh, COCO algorithm consistent outperforms is in terms of uh, uh, the log likelihood value, and it also uh, achieves a higher uh, predictive revenue. So uh, in this work, uh, we proposed a probabilistic uh, framework for cargo pricing optimization and an uh, auxiliary distribution designed based on the co-cluster assumption and an iterative algorithm uh, named COCO for uh, solving the uh, resulting optimization problem effectively and efficiently. Uh, the main advantage of uh, the proposed framework is threefold. First of all, it allows for information sharing among all the OD pairs, with significantly boosting the performance of the OD pairs uh, with us, you know, for those with small transaction volume. And it bridges the uh, two stages by jointly learning the dual predictive models and uh, leverage the uh, co-cluster structures to improve the model performance. And uh, thank you. Thank you.